Hey guys, James here again. I just talked about how to write a check in QuickBooks, but before we start writing checks in QuickBooks, we need to start by setting up checks to actually print correctly. So I'm gonna actually this video go through on how to do that, because that's also very important. So if we actually come to this print checks area, there's a quick and easy way to get it. Again, to do this, I just went to the plus icon and went to print checks under vendors, and right down here on the bottom, you'll see this print setup option and it's on the little black bar there and we'll click the print setup and it's going to ask us whether we have voucher checks or standard checks so I talked about this a little bit a standard check is when you're you have three checks to a page on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper a voucher check is when you've got one check and then it's got little voucher information so you tear off a copy and keep for yourself and the other copy goes to the vendor stuff like that we would go ahead and do that. Then we would make sure that there's blank paper in the printer and it does a good job of walking you through here. And then we want to go ahead and view and print this sample. We want to do this because we're going to take this and hold, print this out and then hold it up to our check. So once we print off the information, we'll go ahead, we'll print this, it's going to bring up this print dialog and we'll click print here. Again, since I don't need to print, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel here. Then, once we take a look at that, we'll actually take the two pages there, let me find, like this, and we would hold it up to a light source so that we could look through and make sure that it's lined up correctly. If we go ahead and hold it up to that light source and find that it's lined up correctly, we'll come over here and click yes on finished with setup. If it's not lined up correctly and you see, okay, we need to move that a little bit to get the um, the payee's name on the right line or get the written numbers on the right line or move the number around, then we want to come here and click no continue setup. When we do that, it's going to ask us to go ahead and set up um, Adobe Reader. If you don't already have it set up, it'll let you download it. If not, we're going to click go ahead and click no continue setup again once you get past that. You don't want to click yes I'm done. If you click yes I'm done there, and I'm actually going to go back real quick. If you actually click yes I'm done here, um, then it's going to finish the setup. We don't want that. So that's why I want to keep going with no continue setup. So from there you're going to see this right here with horizontal and vertical. And it's mainly going to move this number here but when you move this number, it's also going to go ahead and move the payee line and the memo line and everything like that. So you can either do that by just clicking and dragging here. And if you're holding this up on that little sample that it prints out, you'll have these gridded lines here. So you'll know, okay, even though we're centered here, when I look at this, we need to go ahead and move this up so that it's there. And then we would be in line. And it's going to move these here. And as you do that, you just want to preview and print sample. It'll print it here. You would print it. And then you would grab your piece of paper, line it up, hold it up to a light source again, and say, nope, it's not in line, or yes, it is. And once you get it aligned, we'll just keep moving this back and forth until we get it aligned. Um, then we would go ahead and click Finish Setup. There, now our checks will be correctly aligned for when we print them. One thing that I do want you all to know is that print setup for checks that you write out of the bank account is different from print setup for checks that you write for payroll. So to do payroll check setup, you'll actually have to come in here and go to payroll settings. And since this account doesn't have it, I actually can't show you. Um, but if you clicked on payroll settings here, then you would be able to go ahead and change the setup of how the check is set up there. So in a future video that's done, I'll make sure that we reference how to do it for the payroll setup and where to go there. It works exactly the same, it's just in two different areas because your payroll checks, you may have voucher checks for payroll, whereas you've got traditional checks for your vendor payments and everything like that. That's why there's two different options there. So keep that in mind and let me know if you've got any questions. 
My contact info as always is on this page and you can visit my website, schedule a call, anything like that through that contact info and we'll be happy to help you. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.